My uncle played in the NFL for 10 years. Growing up, we used to just watch him on Sundays. We played a little flag football when I was younger. I was always a pretty big kid. I remember we would wrestle and kick the crap out of each other, and then, you know, we'd go on with the rest of our day like nothing happened, so fond memories, good, good times. <laughs> we are twins. He's older, three minutes. You know, we grew up playing together. We grew up doing everything together, pretty much. When I got into eighth grade, we moved to Oklahoma, and I started hitting stride, and that was when football became a love for me. When he was in eighth grade, he was uh, leg pressing 850 pounds. He went to the University of Richmond and really wanted to prove himself at a Division I school. I wanted to go play Division I football, and it ended up that that was great, but the school was not. For me, I just didn't fit in personally. Feeling very alone, some serious anxiety and depression issues. So when I realized that I was going through so many struggles and it was because of the place I was at, it was pretty clear to me that I needed to find a new place to call home. The first time I met Ben Stapleton, I thought that he was a dynamic individual. Every day he brings his lunch pail and he goes to work every single day in the classroom and on the field. He's an over-the-top student athlete. I personally really enjoyed the shift from, you know, everything's about football to we really take the student-athlete mantra to heart that we're a student first and an athlete second. The environment here is pretty unique and I felt very quickly a member of the McDaniel family. I'm big into football. I grew up watching football with my dad. So I transferred into McDaniel as well the same semester he did. And so we were in the same transfer class. And then I started running into him a lot at Fellowship of Christian Athletes every Wednesday night and we just became best friends instantly. I don't believe things are left to circumstance. We fit too, too well for it just to be a chance. My brother was playing at Juniata College at the time. I came here and found a home to be at and so I don't know that Jake ever necessarily really had that at his previous school. So when he came here, it was kind of like a homecoming. It's pretty crazy to come off the sideline and see your brother right there cheering for you and excited for you, and then I can do the same thing for him. Homecoming is the biggest event of the year, and it's pretty fun to be able to play in front of that many people. It's like all cylinders firing. I yell the whole time, I was ready to go, and everybody's just laughing at me. And I'm like, guys, this is my job. I'm supposed to yell for him the whole time. He's a dominating figure on the line of scrimmage. And he plays right in the middle of what we call the trenches. It's a game that's going to wear on you at times, physically and mentally. You know, there's an old saying in football, fatigue makes cowards of us all. I think that something similar can be said about defeat. Some things didn't go our way, they caught us on a blitz. That's how football works. It's not always who worked the hardest over the week that comes out on top. I said, uh, no matter the outcome of the game, no matter what, I'm coming out today a winner. I'm a winner at the end of the day. We usually all go take pictures. I get a picture with him after every game. And then he keeps going, hey, hey, hey. And I'm like, what is going on? I had to ask him afterwards what he said to me because as soon as I knew what he was doing, I started screaming, yes, yes, yes. yes, yes, yes. I'm OK with not going pro. I've really enjoyed football, and it's brought me a lot of really great things. But there's a time and season for everything. Football has brought me to this place. I'm just excited to start like our little family first. And I'm just, I can't believe that um, the hill brought me you. And that I get to walk across the stage with you in spring and we get to start a whole new chapter. Yep. Thanks. Mm. Last thing, we get a kiss. Oh. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Cut. <laughs> <laughs>